Today it's Wednesday, December 27, 2023. And the gentlemen's here, what they have done. They fix back the covers, they put the new seals down, the new seal here. Everything's nice. They Yes, they put it properly. Nice. You have... No. Here, you know what needs to be done? Mm -hmm. It comes the pipe for the charcoal canister solenoid. Alright? The pipe, it pass under the wiring and then it, it comes out from this side and goes here. Mm -hmm. So I need to remove the plugs from the ignition coils mm -hmm. and then pass it from down. I'll go to it and then we're gonna get another one cable tight here. You see that was there was yeah, before one? Table. Yeah, don't put it now. Uh, no, this you can put it now. This one. There is one that's, that's holding down. Okay, we're gonna find it. No worries. Never mind. Never mind. Alright. No. They clean the valley with a vacuum cleaner. They clean the surface here. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. And the new PCV is here. The PCV has a date 0522. All right. Now, let's go inside of the engine room to see the remaining things of the intake manifold. Hey. Okay. You put back the belt. Nice. The pulley. We said that the pulley didn't have any problem. It was nice. It didn't have any any weird sound or something splendid so from here we're done for now at least let's go to see the intake manifold let's have a look at the in intake manifold now what i have done few rail fuel injectors here the wiring harness for the throttle this is for the charcoal canister that continues out this is for the runners inside and the actuator the solenoid all right this is a check valve that goes back that's supplying vacuum on the reservoir and it's continuing front to the solenoid this is for the charcoal canister down that goes to the intake manifold. Nice. The bracket for the wiring, for the throttles. Yeah, keep it there. The frame, the seal, the aluminium piece. It's not the time now to install it. Uh, let's just have it there. The plastic. How do call it now? This one. Velocity. Anyhow, these funnels that goes from the, of the throttles. All right. Gaskets. Bolts, intake temperature sensor, map sensor, clamp, yeah, the safety, the two bolts for the actuator, fine because different. The throttles, it's been washed, it's nice and clean. Like any other time, I'm saying, I have said that, I don't know, one million times still now, that when it gets sludge between the, the butterfly, between the throttle and the housing of the throttle and cannot make this movement, you can give you that it cannot make the adaptation for the throttle. And the only thing what you have to do is just clean the throttles and you can be fine. It's happening all the time. Not the first time. So then, then the headache. Headache is this one, this is not. I went with a brake cleaner and with one rug, I spray on the rug and I clean the rubber seal all around. It doesn't lift up, it's staying in place. It's nice and soft. Here, where it's overlapping, because this, when they're applying it, it's not, uh, it's liquid. You can see here how it looks like, all right? In some cases, what I'm doing, because you have this line here, I'm just applying a little bit of sealant, one light film of sealant, only at this point, not, not all over the place, only at this point. It's not that much important, because being calculated some leak, and this is after the throttles, before the throttle, sorry, it's not after the throttle, so it does have vacuum here. Here it's sagging air only. And the intake manifold. The intake manifold is here since Saturday, full of oil. Yay, lovely. I have to go to wash it three, four times until it comes nice and clean. Yeah, detergent, washing it. And then at the end, I have to blow it to clean it to dry it very well to don't have uh, any moisture, any humidity on it, any water. Okay, that's the plan, like any other time. Let's do that to finalize the car. Let's see where am I now. Intake manifold, it's been washed. Outside looks nice. Okay, this mark here is from the stupid foam that has here that's for the sound and it doesn't make any sense if you're asking me 
I'm cancelling this one and this one. First, I'm asking the owner. If he doesn't want the owner and he wants to keep it, it's his choice. But for me, this foam here and the other two that are going under the intake, I'm removing it. I'm cancelling it. Let me make it upside down to see how it looks like inside. And that's how it looks like inside. No oil anymore. Nice. Yeah. yeah, classic. This need to go away. The sticker, the stupid sticker that they're putting a sticker inside. They take manifold, go figure out. This one, do not keep it inside. Throw it in the garbage. Like any other time, I took it away. All right. I haven't sanded it. I haven't. I just removed the oil and the carbon here from the porch. Okay. You see a little bit of corrosion here, but not on the surface where it's sealing the gasket. That's amazing. That's a new one. That's a good one. A new one, actually. <laughs> fine, fine. Now, you see the difference, this color with this color. Some people, they're saying that this is zinc. I have no clue. It might be, it might not be. It doesn't matter. Why? Because after four to five years, it becomes like that. Okay? So, I don't know if it's zinc or if it's the magnesium or whatever. It's magnesium, aluminum, and zinc. So, the same thing here inside. Here, what you see, this piece is here. This was like this once upon a time. It was like this once upon a time. Not like this. All right. Then, it's okay, it's fine. There is no problem at all with the seal all around. Inside, it is what it is. Yeah. Let's make it upside down from outside. Outside, nice and dry and clean. You see one mark here. This is from the stupid foam that comes here. That sits back here. All right, that's why I'm saying that I'm removing it. This is rear, near to the driver, near to the firewall. All right, and then the front one. What do you see front here? Here there is another one, stupid rubber. <laughs> so, see how it looks like. I don't know if you can tell or if you can understand what I'm saying through the phone through the camera. You see these small, small holes all the way here. And there is also here. If I put the rubber, you can still can have a perfect match here. And that's the reason why I'm not putting the stupid foam back in place. I hope that I make myself clear here. Then the seal that has here the runners, it's nice. And I mean, when I'm turning it, it has a good resistance. It's not turning freely. It's not good to turn freely. The same thing with the fitting, this fitting. It looks like that the seal inside is active. It's, it became uh, hard and to spin freely again. You see that it's nice and beautiful. The same thing also with this one. Where is it? Here. It doesn't spin freely. And you see it feels like it has a rubber inside. How it's supposed to feel. Excellent, amazing, beautiful. So, now. Now, take a look, Mr. Roma. <laughs> What I'm going to do, like any other time, putting the throttles on this plate, dressing it, put the wiring, and then going outside on the car to see that it does have a fault related to the throttles to make the adaptation. The, yeah, the adaptation of the throttle position. Yeah. And then when I do that, then I'm going to close it and I'm going to start putting it together. Why I'm not painting it? I don't have a, a pa paint. I don't have a spray. First and second, I stop painting the intake manifolds. This is one exception that I open it. Okay, I open it because uh, I saw that from outside that's nice and clean and it didn't have any corrosion. I mean, if I see from outside, especially here where it's mounted the uh, fuel rail, any crack or comes apart, or if I see any crack here or from down, sometimes happening here. I'm not going to even touch it. I'm not going to even open it. As soon as I saw it outside to be decent, I said, okay, what in hell? Let's, let's see how it's going to end up. Right, Mr. Omar? Yeah. So, now, it's time to start putting it together. One test fit. Why? Because it's a bit more thick, the, this plate. It is a little bit more thick than the OEM. That's how it looks like from down. Oh, come on. Sorry. All right. That's how it looks like from up. 
need to go outside to connect the plugs to see the diagnostic. But like I said, <coughs> dang it. When you put it in place, yeah, you're gonna have a bit better grip if I didn't break the frame. <laughs> we're gonna see, we're gonna find out. And on the previous garage, I had how many? Now I don't have any. Let me take it and go outside. I'm coming back to put in place. All good. Now, Vaseline to sit properly inside. So don't have any headache. Okay. The frame, the bolts. I put the sticker. I put the sticker here to give it back to the customer. That's the sticker that I removed from there. Okay. And if you want my advice, whenever you can open your intake manifold, take out this stupid sticker from there. Let's close it. There we go. Secure down, torque down the bolts. Nice. Now, a little bit Vaseline here, around. A little bit Vaseline here to enter nicely here inside and to pass the wiring from here and closing also the bottom. Intake manifold upside up. Okay. Let's continue dressing it. Pipes, actuator, solenoid, there, bracket, map sensor, intake temperature sensor, and all the rest. And the fuel rail with the fuel injectors here. I'm still waiting for, yeah, that's what I don't have yet. I don't have the o-ring for the brake booster here. I'm waiting for it. Hey, let's move on. That's it for now with the intake manifold, everything back in place. All right, this sticker goes back to the customer, like I said, to the owner. That's from this side. Uh, don't worry about the intake of the sensor because it's still holding there. All right, there is no problem whatsoever. It will be fine. I have seen cases that there was missing both and it was still there in place. <laughs> in this case, it's fine. It does have anything there. Only if you block the air filters, if it's full of dirt air filters, it's gonna create vacuum, so it's gonna have a suction. It does have a boost, it does have a pressure, that's my point. And does have any problem, all right? Clamp back in place. Yep, in place. All right, now, let's go outside. I need the adapter for the oil cut scan here and to put it also in the PCV. This back in the trunk, and then, and then I have to, uh, have to talk at the office to ask the owner if he wants me to connect to connect to put back the foam the stupid foam in the valley i'm talking about these two stupid things after all it's not my call it's not my car right so if you want to put it yeah we're gonna clean it and we're gonna put it but if you ask my opinion do not put it back but that's me now, that's the old, one second, that's the old gaskets. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, keep it here. This goes back to the owner. This goes back to him. And, ah, by the way, I don't remember if I mentioned, I put the, the plate back again inside here. All right, these are the hydraulic lifters. And these are the, this is the plate, this is the stock plate there, inside it doesn't have any problem. And these are the gaskets that I'm gonna use. The other one, it's here inside. Alright, the plates, the oil filter, yeah, lovely, lovely. Fine. Yeah, let me talk to the office and I need also the adapters for the oil cut scan, like I said. I need, no need this one, no need this one. The new bolts, guys, the new bolts for the intake manifold? What are the new bolts? Yeah, there was one uh, nylon bag. I see one here, but this is this is an old one. That's definitely an old one. This is not a new one. So I need these brackets. This goes to the intake. This goes to the PCV. Over there. Fittings, pipes. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. And office. Yes. Okay, now. The adapter here in place for the PCV, tilted sideways, it comes here the pipe, the new gaskets in place, uh, 
I'm not gonna install the foam down, all right? And the adapter here on the intake manifold. It has to be all the way in as it is right now. And the five valent bolted down. Pipe's being bolted down. It has to be tilted this way. Let's put it in place. Okay, here we go. Everything has been installed other than what's it mean? The master flow sensor, the pipe for the charcoal canister is back in place, secured down here under the wiring. All right, fuel injector has been connected. Mr. James playing with the steam, he's steaming. Then we have the secondary injection pump, it's been connected. The reservoir is back in place here. Mr. Romar, he said that he's gonna find one clip at this point. That's what you said, Mr. Romar. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. that. And you said also that. Because before they, they changed the injectors and they pulled this out and there was more cable ties here, you're gonna find also these clips. Right, Mr. Omar? Yes. I'm waiting. Yeah, then the two pipes for the oil cut scan it's been routed here. Don't pay attention to that. The guys are gonna fix it properly with the wiring up there. I just put it temporary to locate the oil cut scan. The oil cut scan is here, it's routing from here the cables. So don't be on the way of the air duct that comes here or the air box. Fine. It, that's the location. And what I have done here, I remove the brackets from the bracket from the wiring harness here at this point. I'm talking about this bracket. Alright. And I put it on top of the oil cut scan. It's gonna be fine, you're not gonna have any problem whatsoever. Now the guys, what they have to do, you have to put the air boxes. Okay, you have to put the breather pipe here here and here all right you have to put a coolant uh, then remember remind to omar this clip here and these clips here all right i have to run the dilatation for the camshafts right yes. right we're looking good we are looking good so if mr omar find the clip to put it there and the and here you know to be nice to don't see anybody anything to be like a stock one you're gonna be amazing so then 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 these are the old bolts for the intake manifold and this are this is the bracket one second let's put the bracket back okay. these things goes back in the trunk so this one ah, let's put it here where's the where was the old cat scan right not bad put it there this is from the gaskets that I use keep it there all right fine 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 splendid lovely then okay all the rest it's for the guys they're gonna I'm gonna show you how they're gonna fix the pipe here they're gonna fix it nicely to so don't be only with one cable tight like I said all right it's not being bent so much here it's fine you're gonna breathe it's okay you don't have so many options on any class that's the thing. The coolant and the sensor are already connected. Are already connected. A map sensor intake. Uh, a manifold. Phew, what manifold? Throat valve body. The solenoid for the actuator. Vacuum lines all connected. Brake booster back in place. The 25 torques there for the plastic for that. Yes, I already torqued down the fuel feed here for the on the rail. Calls down. Nice, nice. Oh, they fix back again the clip here. Nice. Now what's pissing me off? It's pissing me off that's missing this stupid thing. Here. This one. And that the wiring, because whoever changed the, the fuel injectors, he pulled it. If you saw the previous video, before we, before I touched it, there was a cable tied here. There was another cable tied here. Yeah. That's it for now. Whenever they're gonna finish the guys, then I'm gonna make another video. Thank you. Over and out.